Now, here's a general overview, right? This is the whole process from beginning to end. First thing we do, choose four to six ClickBank products. I'll show you how we do that in the next video. Uh, get those, write them down, <laughs> do like me and put them in Excel. And then you're going to, sorry, that might not be real readable. The uh, text is a little bit tiny there. But the second phase is evaluate and remove bad products. And that I will definitely show you how to do. Uh, we do that with a spreadsheet before we ever launch anything. And this is the this is the phase that people mess up. They skip that. They go to ClickBank. They pick something, and then they try to make it work. And you know, it's it's it was doomed from the beginning. In other words, so I'm going to show you how to save a ton of time and money by weeding out you know the the ones that are definitely they can't work. Okay, at least they can't work for you, and you don't want to waste a whole bunch of time trying to make them work. Then after we have done that, we're going to create sites and landing pages for the products that have made it through that phase right there where we remove things. Then we launch a test pay-per-click campaign. Okay, then that pay-per-click campaign then is going to show us the poor performers. Can we, you know, at least break even? If you can break even with a campaign right, right out of the gate, then it's worth, you know, pursuing because we can tweak some things. Even if you're losing just a little bit, it depends. You know, I'll show you some factors that come into play there. But if we're like losing money hand over fist and, you know, there's no way to – I don't want you to spend a whole bunch of time and money working on something just because you want to make it work. Don't do that. This is all about actually profiting and making money quickly. So – if it's not performing adequately, and I'll show you what the criteria is for that later on, then we just scratch it and we scale up the performers, the ones that are working. So let's say we initially pick six products. Okay, By the time we go through, run them through our spreadsheet, and we've done some keyword research and evaluated the traffic, how much it's going to cost to advertise for that, maybe we're left with only three. Maybe you know three got totally weeded out. So we create the landing pages for those three. We launch a campaign. We find out that one of them is just we're losing $100 a day on it. It's not going to work. The other, Another one we're breaking even, and another one we're making $200 a day. Well, we're going to focus, of course, first on that one that's making us $200 a day. We're going to try to scale things up. And then after that is working and, uh, you know, it's kind of running on itself, we're going to focus on the other campaign that was breaking even. We're going to see if we can get that one to come up. But that's the overview. That's the whole process, okay? Now, here are your action steps. This is what I'm going to, you know, obviously, in as short as this course is going to be, I cannot walk you through the entire process of doing everything here. But I'm going to go ahead and show you what to do. We'll go through the list here. I'm going to go do it, and I'm going to bring back the results. But let me just say, I am going to do this on the fly. Okay, I have not done any pre-research you know, research or whatever. Uh, as soon as we're done here, I'm going to actually go out and do what I'm telling you to do. So, again, though, don't you do it. If this is your first time watching the videos, don't try to do it right now. You kind of need to see everything from a bird's eye view. So the course isn't very long. Uh, you know, as you can watch it over the weekend, go through it one time and then go back and actually do these action steps. Okay. So first thing we do is go out to the ClickBank marketplace, find four to six products that you're interested in promoting. We can, you know, you can be a little bit choosy. You can, if it's something that you kind of have an interest in, by all means, pursue it. Um, get those in. I'm going to put them in an Excel spreadsheet. I suggest that you do the same thing. Because one of the reasons that that's nice is it's a place for you to track things. So you might start a spreadsheet for, you know, your your affiliate marketing on ClickBank. And just keep track of campaigns that you're interested in. And if they got eliminated, you know, maybe put a little X by them or something. So that in six months when you're going back and you're looking for something to, to market, you know, you don't grab the same one. You can look in there and you can say, okay, here's 
some that I want to do, and you can look in your spreadsheet and you can say, oh, I already did that one, and uh, it didn't work out, so why waste my time now, right? So keep track of that kind of stuff. And then we're going to do our keyword research and build up a keyword list. This list, a smaller version of the list, will be used for our advertising later on. So you want to keep track of this list and you want to hold on to it. But for now, what this list is about is finding out what I'm going to be able to expect from that particular product. Is there traffic there? How much am I going to have to pay for the traffic? That's the kind of things that we're looking for. And again, I am going to hit on each one of these, kind of show you how to do it. I'm not going to do like the full in-depth picking six products, right? That's what I mean. And then the third thing is we're going to use the ClickBank Evaluator Spreadsheet to pick your target, and I should say targets, because out of that four to six, hopefully we're going to get, you know, maybe half of them at least that are going to make it through. Um, but what I do suggest, um, let me correct myself for something here real quick. I suggest that your first time doing this, you just try to get one. So out of those four to six, the first time through, when you do the ClickBank Evaluator spreadsheet, just pick the one that looks like it'll perform the best and just focus on that. Because, you know, like me, yeah, I can have, you know, three or four campaigns going at one time and it's okay, but that might be kind of overwhelming to you, especially if it's your first time. Okay, so just take the one that is just right on top, looks like it's going to perform the best. Okay, so what I'm going to do in the next video, I'm going to go to the ClickBank Marketplace and just show you how that works, and I'm going to pick a product. I'm just going to do one, just as an example. I don't even care if you know it's not going to meet the criteria. This is just for illustrative purposes. Um, and then we're going to—I'll show you how to do the research, build that keyword list, and then punch those numbers into the ClickBank Evaluator spreadsheet and see if we got a winner.